For the last few days, I was attending NAS Summit, which is one of the largest creator conferences in the world and was happening in Dubai this time, so I had to go. It had some of the best YouTubers in the world come and give presentations and all the people over there were creators as well. And collectively, there were over 600 million followers in that room, which is absolutely insane. You guys might know Fidesz, he's a regular on the Eric channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely do. So I walk into this place, I bump into Fidesz, I tell him that I'm a YouTuber as well. He grabs my phone and starts doing a channel review. All right, guys, I'm getting YouTube advice from Fidesz. Yeah, here. his thumbnails are horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> so you can improve to make more interesting thumbnails because I don't really understand from the photo what this stuff is about. And you have a blue thing on your thumbnails every time. This is not good. Yeah, not really? good at all. I thought it would add some like brand identity to the thumbnail. Like, but when, you know? no, like. It could be your face. Your yeah. brand can be your face, yeah. So, yeah, also like you have like the text here is very small. Like there is 1000 stuff to see, like upgrading my BMW car. This is not a good photo, like you can have a photo from above of the car and your hand, they are pointing and like, yeah. oh, I upload, upgrade in my car. Or you can have before and after one BMW car that is kind of stupid. And yeah. So, yeah. In case you guys don't know, thumbnails and titles are like the most important thing on YouTube. So. And he doesn't know that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I, this is feedback is coming from love, not bad. So the first day, Nas gave a speech about what they plan to achieve at this event. It goes down to like 700k followers per person here on average. Which is really incredible. And it's not the followers that matter. We're not here to be famous. It's the fact that people have made it and they've been able to influence others in the millions. Really impressive. And then we had one of my favorite creators of all time, Casey Neistat, come on to give a talk. Now he's been absent from YouTube for a while. It's nice to see him again. And it was one of the highlights of the summit. So when you started, the place for creativity on the internet was YouTube and a little bit of Vimeo. But a lot has changed in the last 12 years. If you were to start today as Casey, where would you go and what, your, what would be your format? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, I, for me, self-distribution is the greatest thing in the world. And that's why I started on YouTube. My YouTube vlog is identical to my HBO show. And my HBO show that I made in like 2008 with my brother Van, it is literally a YouTube vlog. But YouTube vlogging didn't exist then. YouTube then was just like a place for basketball highlight reels. It wasn't a place, it was never a destination for real consumption. And we put this show that was great, we put it on HBO, stellar reviews, nobody watched it. All right guys, I have just finished with Casey's talk. It was awesome as always. He's one of the reasons I actually started vlogging. Casey started vlogging because of his business, Beam. And uh, it was kind of like a promotional thing for his business. And of course the vlog took off much bigger than his business did but i thought that was a really smart way of attracting people to their business and i think uh, one of the reasons i have this youtube channel and i like doing it first of all i love the creative aspects of it but on top of that it's also that uh, you know when you have an audience you can direct them towards projects and get some real good feedback quickly um, and you know, in the startup world, that's extremely important. And every night they would have an after party. And that's where you really connect with the different creators, have you know more socializing time and get to connect more. So that was, I think, the best part. So the first night, the party was at the rooftop of the address Skyview, and it was an awesome venue. Hey guys, we're at the after party right now, and this is where the actual magic happens. This is where we actually meet all the creators and uh, hang out and stuff. And the venue over here is absolutely amazing. Check this out. I'm here with Karachi Wines. So these guys do comedy skets and stuff in Pakistan and they have over a million. A million? Yeah, more than a million uh, subscribers. Almost 2.5 million combined view, combined. like combined subscription. Facebook yeah, yeah. and YouTube. How are you guys liking the NAS summit? Oh, oh. I love this. Love I love it. Love it's, it. It's, it's just day one and we are quite overwhelmed about that. <laughs> I kind of have the social anxiety the right now. The best thing about this summit is Pakistani and Indian content creators can meet. Yeah, ah, yeah, Indo-Pak. Yeah, yeah Indo-Pak. 
It's like Indo Park summit to me, to be honest. <laughs> what up, what up? Hey guys, so this is Beer Biceps. I've been following this guy from the beginning. I think when you had like 15,000 subscribers. Now what is it? I, uh, I don't know right now. <laughs> it's that many millions probably. But uh, this guy really uh, helped me out with my fitness journey initially. And thank you so much for thank your you, pleasure bro. cashing up over here. What do you think of NAS Summit, bro? I just got here. I'm loving the energy. Everyone's super pumped and there's positive faces like you all around, oh, man. Nice, man. Waiting for your talk. For sure, for sure. Thank you, bro. Today we are here, day two of NAS Summit. So, Dan Mace is speaking today. If you guys haven't seen his videos, you have to check it out. He's an insanely good editor and a really good storyteller so I want to check out his talk and uh, we've got a bunch of other creators coming today is the Indian panel so I'm really interested in that because I was thinking about starting a separate Hindi tech based YouTube channel let me know what you guys think about that idea in the comments below so day two started with Amar from Yes Theory if you guys haven't seen Yes Theory they're an awesome channel they make really cool stuff but his talk was more about how they spun off their Seek Discomfort line of clothing and merch. I think they have one of the best implementations of merch that I've seen out there. Really strong branding. So it was really cool to hear directly from Amar about how they did that. One of the panels I was looking most forward to was the Indian panel. They had all the top Indian YouTubers over there, including Kari Minati, who has over 35 million subscribers and I'm a big fan of. So it was really cool to see him in person and see how he is when he's not putting on his Gary Minati persona. Namaste. We are we are from India. My Woo! name is Gary Minati. Yes, hey, bro. <laughs> yes, uh, bro. I've been making content since I hit my puberty. It's my eighth year now. I do roasting videos, mainly that's the powerhouse. And then I do gaming, live streaming, and then a bit of music. So Gary and Ajay are different. Yeah. They're two different individuals. Yep. Okay. Gary Minati is a character. This is me. This okay. is the real me. So there are tons of talks that happened through the day, so I don't want to bore you guys with every single thing. That night, the party was at Nas Daily's offices, which is really cool to see how a, a large creator like that, they have like multiple things going on, Nas Academy, Nas Creations, Nas Daily, so many things happening. So to check out their offices and chill with them for a bit was really cool. On day three, I saw this talk by Abhi and Niu, and they have a really cool YouTube channel. I never knew about it before, but I really love their talk and I checked it out and they do great stuff. It was a really compelling story. I really enjoyed that one, especially since me and my wife do our podcast together, Startup Puzzle Middle East, season two of which has started right now, by the way. So if you guys want to go check it out, any podcast platform, Startup Puzzle Middle East. So after that, Ali Abdul did a course about like how to treat your YouTube channel more as a business. And he's one of the few YouTubers who's super transparent about their earnings and stuff and what channels they use to earn their money. Uh, if, we, if we use YouTubers, for example, Unless you have a background in video production, unless you are Peter McKinnon, 10 years experience in like filmmaking, Andre Jick, personal finance channel, 10 years experience as a videographer, Matt Diavella, you know, Netflix documentary filmmaker, these guys were already good before they started on YouTube. Therefore, they could hit the ground running, they could crush it from day one, and they could conti continue crushing it for the next few years. But even then, they've been doing it for several years, all of these huge creators with millions of subscribers. But for the rest of us, the rest of us who didn't maybe have a career speaking to a camera, didn't have a career in public speaking, didn't have a career in like video editing or video production or, or, or cameras or graphic design or anything like that. We have to learn all of these skills completely from scratch. And if we're in a serious relationship with our creative craft, if we really want to take our YouTube channels seriously, we need to actually get good at the craft. And there are so many people who, are, you know, who come to me on YouTube or message me on Instagram being like, hey, why is my channel not growing? And you look at the videos, and the videos are just not very good. It's like, you know, potato camera quality, like the editing is a bit crap, like there's no background music or it's too loud. It's just, there's stuff about it that's just not very good. So it was really cool that he spent some time with a lot of people over there to advise them on stuff to do. I'm here with Ali Abdul. He's one of my favorite productivity YouTubers. You should go check him out if you want to learn a bit of stuff about YouTube. But um, he just put out this video about how he made like $5 million last year. Uh, 4.3. 4 $4.3 <laughs> million. Dollars. Uh, and I'm just asking him to check out my YouTube thumbnails and let me know what he thinks, so. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Can't complain. What I would ask about your channel is, oh, it's, oh, it's vlogs. I make videos about living in Dubai. Okay, that, yeah. that makes sense. Because there's like a, 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 a big variety of content. Right. Um, I make vlogs about living in Dubai. By the way, there's like a ton of people around here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> nothing to add. Really? Nothing to add at all. That's the first time I've heard I don't think. <laughs> I don't think the thumbnails are what's going to move the needle for your channel. Yeah, man. You got this. That's it. Keep going. <laughs> I mean, it's doing well, like 30k subs. Um, decent yeah, views. but I, oh, I, oh. I think maybe it's because uh, I don't get that much engagement. I get like three, four thousand views a video. Okay. Even I have, the thing like, is, you're making video like it's, it's too, it's, too random. It's, yeah, it's a bit random. You're like vlogs about living. I make videos about living in Dubai, and you've got like peak design mobile review. You've got I got a no, Mac I Studio. No, I do te tech and cars and lifestyle. Oh, okay, cool. That's not at all obvious from looking at your channel homepage. Okay. So as a new viewer to your channel, I'd be like, Siddharth Varakar, okay, he's just doing vlogs. Okay. Whereas if you did tech cars lifestyle, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. I get what's going on here. Right. Um, but if you, and if you so do- So I should tech, upgrade the branding? I think, I think it's about uh, under, understanding your target audience, understanding your value proposition, figuring out your authentic voice. And then the branding comes once you figure those things out. Right, so you should good. read Story Brand by Donald Miller. Figure that out. Story Brand by Donald Miller. Yeah, great book. All right. Thank um, you so much for And then you'll the branding. And then, like, if you're competing in cars and in tech, yeah. then, okay, now the thumbnails are probably need to be better. And the way I would think about thumbnails is who are the channels I'm trying to compete with? Who are the top people in that space? Let's look right. at the top 50 channels that are in my niche of right. tech, cars, lifestyle kind of vibes. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the other channels that the viewers of my channel would be watching? What are they doing? What are they, what's their thumbnail style? Can I make a mood board of things I enjoy about their thumbnails? Look at their social blade stats. How do they grow? Deep competitor analysis, because you're taking this seriously. This is not just a hobby for you, I'm imagining. If it's a hobby, ignore all my advice and just do whatever you want, have fun. <laughs> but if it's a business, go down market analysis, competitor analysis. I don't out, really look advantage. at it financially. Uh, that's not the reason I'm doing it. Uh, I do it because I enjoy it, but I take it seriously. So okay. I wouldn't say it's uh, like I do a video once a week religiously, so. Okay. So you take it seriously, yeah. but like, okay, if I said hobby is zero and business is 10, where do you stand on the spectrum of? Seven. Okay, cool. In that case, all of the things I said are important. <laughs> okay. But you can, see, ultim ultimately, you, ultimately you can do what you want, but it's like really a case of knowing how to cook and knowing how to run a restaurant are different things. Right. And right now you know how to cook. Mm -hmm. But I think where, if, if you care, if you care about running a restaurant, then things like story brand, e revisited, thinking about competitive analysis, market research, unfair advantages, blah, blah. All of the stuff that you would do if you were starting a business. You've started yeah. a business, it's yeah. successful. Like, I, you know, I understand You can't just start a business things. and be like, hey, I rent cars, but at the same time, I really like playing the guitar, so I just want to like play the guitar <laughs> for somebody. Like, no, fuck that, you're renting cars, you're providing a service to customers. Right. And it's, I, think, I think of a YouTube channel as being the same thing. Like, it is a service I'm providing to my customers. And so if I'm in that mindset, it's yeah. not about, am I thinking about money first, it's about the mindset of, being in service to my customers rather than in service to myself. So next up, Michelle Cara, one of my favorite YouTubers. She does all these really difficult, challenging videos and her production quality is absolutely insane. It looks like a TV show. So I really wanted to check out her talk as well, which was really awesome. We've got Traveling Desi over here with over 1 point, how many million now? 1.6 so far. 1.6 <laughs> million views. So bro, uh, what, how do you, what do you think of the NAS Summit? It's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot to learn for everyone, no matter how big or small you are. Mm -hmm. In sheer in terms of number, but uh, that doesn't really matter. What matters is how much you love your work. What's the number there? Uh, <laughs> so, cool. so uh, you got to give me a channel review, bro. Channel review? <laughs> oh, I am in no capacity to review a channel because I understand everyone would put in their best. But uh, the or only advice, thing is, advice. I Tips. would say more of smart work. Yeah. Less of hard work yeah, okay. because I have been doing otherwise for a long period of time. So I realized that the hard way. Uh, Second consistency, as everyone here tells you, is really, really yeah. important. This guy does seven days a week, man. <laughs> seven <laughs> days a week. At least I try to, for most part. Yeah. Uh, in the last two years alone, I think I would step out like about 500, 600 videos. I'm not sure, but wow. approximately. <laughs> That's crazy. I struggle with one a week, man. I try that when doing while traveling all the time as well. <laughs> I think so. It's a sure. nightmare. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Sure. And that day ended off with the final after party and that was the best night actually. After three days of the summit, everybody kind of knows each other, so the vibe is a lot more chill. So Yusuf Omar, king of Snapchat Thank stories. You. And these are like some insane AR glasses. An augmented crown. He did an insane talk today about uh, how he does Snapchat stories and storytelling on Snapchat. It was amazing. Dude. Thank you so much. I freaking loved it. And what I'm wearing right now are his 
his glasses and there's actually augmented reality stuff going on over here right now. There's a screen in front of me. It's pretty freaking insane. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Where do you get these from? Yeah, follow me what it looks like. Do you guys see? There's like little screens inside. Nice. Freaking awesome stuff, dude. Boys, love How it. How do I get my hands on one of these? You can't buy them. They're just for testing purposes. Um, they're Snapchat spectacles. They're augmented reality layers onto the world so you can see, you know, augmented clouds in the sky. Here with Nasir. He's the man who made this whole summit happen. Amazing event. Thank you. Bro, I'm coming definitely for the next event for and sure. And the next year, the next year, the next year. Yeah. I'll see you then. You guys have to check him out, Nas Daily, if you haven't already. I'm sure you already know of him, but thank, thank you, you so much for the event, bro. Cheers. So I had a great time at the summit. Definitely recommend it if you're a content creator. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.